Welcome, Nebraska Children and Families Foundation's Communities for Kids initiative through its proud partnership with the Nebraska Department of Health and Human Services and the American Rescue Plan Act is excited to announce a funding opportunity to communities and child care professionals across Nebraska that will assist in expanding capacity of high quality early learning programs. Today, we're gonna to go over the highlights of the project, including an overview, timeline, allowable expenditures, and how to apply. So this is the official statement that includes the legislative bill number and name and number of the Congressional Act. You will see the statement on everything we put out about the funding. And if you're chosen to be a contractor for these funds, it will also be on all of your materials as well. This project is solely focused on increased childcare capacity, especially in areas of high need. To be eligible for funding, providers must be starting a new program or expanding their current one to serve more children. Please only apply if you plan to meet this criteria. Applicants can be a community, individual childcare program, or business seeking to incorporate childcare. Applicants will be required to show that they can increase full day, full year licensed childcare capacity for the zero to five population. These funds uh, can go either to a community working with many childcare programs or individual childcare programs. Applicants must be willing to participate in a step up to quality program and develop a plan to reach a step three or higher. They must also register on the Child Care Referral Network, often called the CCRN, and must be willing to sign a contract with DHHS to accept children who qualify for child care subsidy. This project is on an accelerated timeline, which means there will be a very limited time to spend a large amount of funds. We need your proposals by November 28th. Contract announcements will be made December 15th, and the contract period is January 1st, 2023 through June 30th, 2023, so just six months. All of the funding must be spent in that contract period. There will be no carryover of funds past that date. It is also important to note that any program that participates must be open, operating, and accepting children no later than June 30th, 2024. Priority will be given to programs who will increase capacity by June 30th of 2023. Technical assistance to support your projects will be provided by the Communities for Kids staff. If a second year funding is available, another opportunity to submit an RFP will be announced in late spring of 2023. We will contract with a minimum of 12 and a maximum of 15 entities based on the funding amounts in this chart. For example, if a single child care provider applied and would be able to increase their licensed capacity to between 51 and 75 children, they would be eligible for a $300,000 contract. If one community applied with plans to open three new family child care homes serving eight to 12 children each, they'd be eligible for a $150,000 contract because they'd be serving three providers at that $50,000 threshold. Applicants are welcome to mix and match different types of providers in their applications. To apply, you will be asked to complete a request for proposal, which will be available on our website. The request for proposal will also need to include a summary form, a funds request form, a budget, and a budget justification. All documents will need to be emailed to Nebraska Children Communities for Kids by November 28th at 5 p.m. Central Time, 4 p.m. Mountain. As mentioned earlier, C4K will make all required documents and forms available on our website. Once requests for proposals and documents are submitted by the listed deadline, proposals will be reviewed by a team of internal Nebraska Children's staff and other external partners. Once this review is complete, Nebraska DHHS will make the final selections for contract, period, for contract awards. 
12 to 15 proposals will be selected for contracts, and we plan to announce the recipients on December 15, 2022 via email. There will be a limited list of allowable expenses due to the funding source, which includes, but is not limited to, construction and renovation costs, such as materials and labor, um, classroom equipment, materials and curricula, staff wages, payroll taxes, benefits, uh, workforce recruitment and hiring activities, marketing and advertising, and staff training fees. Expenses not directly tied to an increased capacity will not be allowed. The following are examples of non-allowable expenses. Food, disposable items such as soap, hand sanitizer, paper towels, wipes, diapers, cleaning supplies, um, or consumable items except for office supplies um, or classroom supplies such as crayons. Any equipment expenses costing 5,000 or more for a single item will also not be allowed unless special permission um, from DHHS prior to spending is granted. In order to help guide you with creating budgets for expenses, a list of allowable and non-allowable expenses will be provided on our Frequently Asked Questions, which will be accessible on the C4K website. We will hold two Q&A sessions on November 7th. You are encouraged to attend one of these sessions. There's no need to attend both. We have started a Frequently Asked Questions page on our website as well, uh, which you can find at this link. With that brief overview, please note we need to get started right away. Here is another look at the timeline. So as you can see, we're off to the races. We will see you at the Q&A sessions on November 7th. 